Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a nine square photo collage. Thank you for all the support on my previous collage tutorials. I have a few different ones, but most popular is the Instagram photo style, Instagram style photo collage, and I appreciate all the support on that. So I'm going to give you guys some more of what you want here, and we're going to start off by choosing nine photos that we want to use in this collage and I'm just going to drag them right into Photoshop where they will all open up. Now these don't really have a particular theme but you can choose yours more carefully. The basic tutorial is the same. So after you've opened them all up go to File, New and we're going to create a 900 by 900 pixel document and then select OK. I'm going to drag mine out of that window just to work on it separately. So there's a few things we want to do before we start putting our pictures in here. We want to head over to the rectangle tool. Make sure it's set to this first one here which is a shape layer. And then click the drop down arrow next to this rounded star and check the circle that says fixed size. Now for this fixed size we're going to use 300 pixels by 300 pixels so just go ahead and type that in and make sure it's PX for pixels you can leave snap to pixels checked it doesn't really matter but so now we have a fixed set as soon as you click it's going to create a fixed size square that's exactly one third of our canvas or one ninth of our canvas I should say so you can as you can see it creates a new shape layer it's currently white on white right now so what I'm going to do is go to the background layer and use command I to invert it just so you can see what's going on so you can see we have this shape layer here now all you have to do is make sure it's perfectly aligned in the corner I'm using the move tool and the arrow and then just use command J to duplicate it and you're just going to move it over and there's the top row so then if you hold shift at this point click on your top layer and then click on the bottom layer it should select all of them together and then you can just right click duplicate those layers and then hold shift and drag them down and connect it like so and then just duplicate all of them one more time hold shift to keep them in line and drag them down once again so now we have our entire board filled and just so you can see each square has its own section and here's where we are going to begin using clipping masks to add our photos in so let's add this first photo here we can just drag it right onto our canvas here and there's a few things we want to do first first we want to pick the square that we want this to be in so this one here as you can see is the bottom right square so I'm going to start I'm going to start from the top left actually so I'm going to drag my layer right above the top left layer and then I'm going to use option command G and you should see this little arrow pop down which is the clipping mask which means that this is now within this is restrained within the proportions of this box so at this point all I have to do is use command T and I'm holding shift to constrain proportions here and I can just drag it down to the size that I want to display so I think you just want to make sure it's bigger than the box itself but I think that's a good placement there now we're pretty much going to continue on like so it's pretty similar let's add the next photo but see the next photo we want to put it in the next spot again option command G for the clipping mask and then we can move that to the position we want. Again, so you place command T to transform if you want. 
hold shift and drag in the corner to make it smaller and then put it where you want so it can be pretty tedious but that's also the fun of making the collage is kind of like arranging the pictures how you want so I'm just going to quickly do the rest of it here just to show you guys how the final result will look gotta transform this alright so now you've successfully placed all the photos together in a nine square photo collage at this point you, can, you have the option to add a border and I'm going to show you how you can add a border to all these photos if you don't like them just running into each other like this so what you want to do is select any any of these shape layers so I'm just going to use the first shape layer in the top left corner right click and select blending options and here you want to check stroke but for the position you want to make sure to set it to inside at this point you can use whatever color you want I'm going to use solid white here and for the size this is up to your personal preference I'm going to use a size of 3 okay so once you have that all you have to do is right click copy layer style and then select all these layers you can just hold shift again so you can click the first layer hold shift all the way to the top and then right click and paste layer style and what that does is create a border around this whole thing around each photo it just pastes the same stroke layer so it creates the illusion that there is a line going through and that is pretty much the final effect from this point on you can even add adjustment layers to unify the colors a little bit so let's say I want to make all the colors seem the same I can go to layer new adjustment layer and do a, a quick curves layer for example adjust the colors all together like so I have lots of tutorials on curves But as you can see, it unifies it a little bit that they all have that green tint. Or you can even go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white, and turn your photo collage black and white. But in the end, that is the final photo collage effect. So I know you'll be able to replicate this hopefully without any problems and use it to create something that you like with a photo of your own if you like this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all my future tutorials and if you want more tutorials you can check out my channel for more I've got a a lot of tutorials on there right now actually so leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I'll definitely get back to you and if you have any questions or having trouble with something, I'll be glad to help you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.